about the greatest moments in sports or a great athlete, there are a lot of people who think that the greatest athletic achievement was one not achieved by a person, but rather by an animal secretariat. That's the choice of many of our viewers for best athlete ever, as well as for providing the most exciting moment in sports when he won the tr third leg of the Triple Crown. I want to ask our crowd here what uh, they think, because as I mentioned, the, I, I, I was teasing you guys uh, during the break before I said, there's something that no one even mentioned, and Secretariat is, is the well, one of It was an amazing accomplishment in the way that Secretariat just blew the field away, but the problem is you, it's tough to put it into context comparing a horse to the, <laughs> the human athlete, and also we didn't know how good the field was. Was when an NBA team wins, you have an idea, okay, this is the level of competition that they beat, but still, it's pretty amazing. I have a greater appreciation. I'm not a horse horse fan or anything like that, but when I, I did cover Smarty Jones during mm -hmm. the Smarty Jones run, and to, to, to see how difficult it is to win a Triple Crown, right. I have much greater appreciation for what Secretary of Accomplice. You know, we, we have this debate uh, around the dinner table sometimes whether or not an animal should be considered an athlete, and there are people who really take that very seriously and mm -hmm. say that you should consider something like someone, something, like well, Secretary Jockey and just like part of it too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So, right. And just some like people have an athletes. argument over NASCAR drivers and golfers too. Right. I mean, you know, it's an argument, not yeah. what me, side you're on or not. But me, they say, is that an athlete? Get me going on NASCAR. <laughs> you know, I'm on NASCAR now. If okay. you don't say human, secretary <laughs> makes my list. Yeah. Okay. But, you know, and he posed for pictures. We're going to check in with uh, our Facebook uh, fans who have written to us to tell us what they think about sports' greatest moment from um, this social media site. Andrew writes the 1980 miracle on ice. I agree with um, Neil. That was the um, greatest defining moment and inspired a generation of ice hockey players. Another one from Facebook from John says, ground ball to first, gets through Buckner, oh. night around third, he scores, Mets, Mets win, fan. Mets win, they win, game six <laughs> of the 1986 World Series. Two outs, no one on, two down. Come but back, you, bye bye. But you say that, and I remember I was in a hotel room. Uh, and I know where I was. <laughs> where, where Gary grew oh, up. You, and I remember yeah. that. So you remember that's what is a greatest sports moment. Okay, you so it doesn't necessarily yeah, mean it's a greatest moment because it was a great outcome right. for your team or no, not. No, no, it's no, just, you, it just how does left it how does it an impression yeah. on you. Different right. ways how to how look does it at define it. A, mo okay. a moment or a generation? We mentioned Namath and the U.S. Olympics that had an impact through the years. This was just that, you know, the glimpse. What's funny about that moment, though, is a lot of people who didn't watch it or maybe not aren't Mets fans, they thought it was game seven. When you hear people talk about right. it today, they thought they True. won the game. That right. only tied the game. But see, when, but see that, isn't one, that isn't one game. It's part of the curse. See, that, it's part of a bigger right. story. Right. There. When right. Leon Durham blew it for the Cubs against yep. the Padres Same in the NLC, that was different because that was, who cares, you know, that, that was some, not quite <laughs> the curse you just, that was put don't together. Don't you hate to be Buckner, though? That's all anybody ever remembers about him. <laughs> you know, right. the guy had a halfway decent career, but that's the one thing everybody remembers. Got to quickly go through a few more okay. here. Uh, Jennifer has written and says, Secretariat's Triple Crown, Lynn, I agree with you when that's up there for me. Mary Lou Retton's gold and Nadia Kamenich's perfect tens. Yeah, that was yeah, we didn't that even I talk about that also first gymnastics. Ever ten. They didn't even have it, they couldn't even put it on the scoreboard. If you remember, they didn't have, there was never a ten, so it was 1.00. <laughs> and and <everybody> said, what <laughs> what about Michael Phelps? We didn't even yeah, put Michael exactly. Phelps. Sorry, yeah, Michael Phelps, yeah. Right. Well, see, I think, wow. yeah, that's interesting that you say that. I, maybe because it's so recent or because so many things have happened in the last couple of years, you guys have all kind of gone back and looked Oh, and an overview I of sports. I think you hit it that it's I mean, so recent when you hear moments ever, right away you go back, back to the beginning right. of sports. And you mentioned, you know, um, Jesse Owens and the impact that that had. You mentioned the Black Sox and yours. I think mm -hmm. the Black Sox have to be up there, not only because of the impact on the field, but also what it did off the field. You know, sport was new then. People watched it as, you know, a recreation, as we do now. But it also showed these guys were involved with gamblers and whatnot. And what are we looking at today? Yeah, Whether really. you like it or not, what's in the headlines? Brett Favre and his right. texting. Tiger Woods and his peccadillas. People like that aspect of sports. I, don't I know. was wondering Sorry, where he was going with That's that. That's not going to play well. We've got a lot of Pete Rose fans around here. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. <laughs> Okay, we are almost out of time. I could do an entire show just on best athlete, but were you able to come up with someone that epitomizes the, the, the greatest athlete ever? I, I said it earlier. I think Muhammad Ali was the most impactful athlete in the history of sports. So I, I don't, uh, you know, Michael Jordan could be there. Tiger Woods is, was heading there until his recent little setback. So Okay, how about you guys? I got Ruth one, Jordan, Walter Payton, Secretariat, <laughs> and let's say a tie between Thorpe and Red Grange. Oh, no, wow. Muhammad Ali. I, I, no, you know what, Ali. what I did? I removed boxing from all the lists oh, okay. just because there's so many moments. I couldn't pick one, and that's why we need to do a top okay. 100. I, I think I think that Jackie Robinson needs to be in there. Okay. I think Jordan. I think Muhammad Ali. 
Uh, that, that's three, I think, uh, guys. You could throw Wilt well, in there. Wilt was a tremendous Wilt, track we didn't even talk about well Wilt, right? Great mm-hmm. basketball player. But, for, you know, as I said, for someone who did so much, Jim Thorpe will stay with me, even though about, it was back in 1912. We have 20 seconds. Jim Brown? Nobody mentioned Jim Brown? Greatest lacrosse player ever. He was, he yeah. was the greatest lacrosse player. Might be player. greatest football player and greatest lacrosse yeah. player. But not in general. And you mentioned yeah. Wills. What about Bill Russell? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Bill Russell. And the debate goes <laughs> on. Guys, thank you so much for being here. What You're absolutely wonderful. Yeah. I, <laughs> I told you that this Nothing debate would continue. Heavy. We'll see you the next time, everybody. Thanks so much okay. for watching. It's your call. <laughs>